Bell's taking the handoff. Breaks free. He's taken down at the 35. The Buccaneers put up big rushing stats last week, and that's ringing true again today. Bells looked as good, if not better, than he did a week ago, Phil. No doubt this offense and the running back, they have found the rhythm of running the football. A lot of fun to watch. They're able to move the chains after that last run. That was a big gainer. Oh, now go. it's time to back it up. He'll take the snap, the first here in the fourth quarter. And at the 25, he'll be brought down. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. The Buccaneers have turned it up a notch with their running game today, Phil. Bell's been a consistent force on the ground. Yeah, he's just a running back who never gives up. But when he runs, it's arms, elbows, everything is moving, and he is one tough running back to tackle. The defense did everything right in that situation. They were in the right spot. They were smart. They read the quarterback's eyes, but they dropped the pass. Cooper's lined up now as a slot receiver. And Ivory's handed the football. Ends up picking up three yards. It'll be third down. Pryor's going to be in the pistol here. And Ivory's going to secure the handoff. And he's going to be tackled. And that's going to bring us to fourth down. He'll try this one from 35. And he converts here on the field goal try. Well, when you get points, it's never a bad thing. That is for sure. Good job by the field goal kicker that time. Nice job by the offense moving the football down the field. Bryant's going to start his return. And he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. Quarters formation here for the defense. First down and 10. They're going to get him here for a sack. The Buccaneers all season long have won the turnover battle, and today it's more of the same. When you look at turnovers, it really, to me, comes down to one thing. That means you have a lot of speed on the defensive side. You can hit them before they are ready, and that's what they're doing here today. He'll throw it over the middle to Crabtree, and Crabtree is brought down. Looking at the passing numbers on both sides of the ball, they're just not there. The coverage has been good, and it's been hard to move the ball against those secondaries. Yeah, good job for the defense today. They got a good pass rush going. The coverage has been good down the field. And also, the defense has been good, but the quarterback has not been real sharp. And he's thrown to the ground. That's what you call pressure. When everything around the quarterback, they're all at his feet. The offensive linemen are around him. He sees the arms of the defensive linemen all reaching for him. There's nothing he can do but fall to the ground. Bridgewater's back in shotgun formation. Throws to the right. Hayden nearly comes away with the pick on that pass. It's third down coming up. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid Six, being sacked for a third time. Looking across the middle, he's got the catch. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third and long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. Set up return. Here he goes. They bring him to the turf. First down coming up. Split backfield here. Bell's got it on the handoff. And that's Jackson in on the stop. Second down coming up. Split backfield here. 
Bell is going to take the handoff now. Bishop's the one who brings him to the ground. Good job of the defensive line standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back to a short gain. After that last run, it sets up third and six. Terrell Pryor will be under center. Looking to the right side and throwing. Johnson's tackle right at the 28. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Offense lines up here. Bell takes it out of the eye. And they are in on Bell. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. That'll be second and four after the running play. Pryor's setting up now in the pistol. And Ivory's taking the handoff. Tackle's made, and that'll move the chains. Tick, 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 tick. That's what we're trying to do. Make that clock keep running down. You got the offense out there. You got a big lead in the second half. Every first down you get shortens that football game. They're going to try to catch the defense off guard as they line up in the Wildcat. The Buccaneers have it at the 39. Out to the right. He's into the open. The blowout continues. Another touchdown. Well, what a play for the touchdown. And I'll tell you, in the NFL, there's so many good players on offense now. You can never have enough points. So keep padding on that lead. Good job. Good score. The Panthers are prepared to return the kickoff. They'll take it at the 20. They come to the line, and it's first down. Miller's a tight end, but lined up in the backfield for this play. Screen has his man. This run goes nowhere. Stuff for a loss of four. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Tight ends in motion here. Second down and a long way to go. And now he'll slide. Third down now. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Bridgewater standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Pulls it in. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Two minutes to go before this one's in the books. Shakes past the defender. Desir's there that time for the tackle. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Black round! Black round! Prior set in the pistol. Ohio! Ohio! <laughs> Breaks the tackle. He steps out. Kind of refreshing to watch, isn't it? To see a team that has faith, the toughness, and the patience to just keep running the football, grinding out these first downs, resting their defense. And tiring out the opponent's defense. First down at the 42. Flyers unable to find his target that time. Quarterbacks love to see a receiver uh, have this type of play. Even though he doesn't make the catch, the effort is outstanding, and he's given everything he has to make that catch. Second and 10. Bell will get it on the toss. That's a gain of 10. There is nothing like big running plays for an offense. It just makes the offensive lineman feel powerful, gives great confidence to the play caller, 
There's a reason why this guy's in the top 10 rushing yards so far this season. The Buccaneers from the 32. Jones is in on the tackle. The days of thinking you're just going to rush the passer, those days are over for defensive ends. Yes, you have to rush the passer, but you got to be able to stop the run. That was a great job that time. Pryor comes out in the pistol. Second down and 10. And Ivory's handed the football. Gains five. On the way, third down. Friars lining up in the pistol. Keeps it here. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Well, I'll tell you, it's getting ugly out here. Well, that was a good job on that touchdown that time. And I'll tell you, there's nothing like being on top of the other team and make them chase you. into the end zone, so they'll only get six points out of the trip. Mason Crosby ready for the kickoff. Short kick here, looking to avoid any late-game heroics. Taken down at the 45. The Panthers come onto the field for their next series. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Now first and ten. Taylor's going to secure the handoff. Long in on the tackle. After the two-yard carry, it sets up second down and eight. Won't huddle now. Going to conserve the timeout and rush back to the line. To Crabtree. Breaks free. He's got a wide open alley. Well, you're really in a tough spot, but that is a good job picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. All you can do, just keep picking up those first downs. You hope it leads you to a score, and then you play the game from there. Almost made the catch, but the collision jarred it loose. This team off to a tremendous start, and still without a loss. To be at this point of the season and still be undefeated, oh, man, you got to be doing a lot of things well. Not only that, it just... It almost guarantees the fact that you, if you just play so so, you're still going to qualify for the playoffs. What a memorable game this truly was. For Phil Sims, Danielle Bellini, and Larry Ridley, Jim Nance saying so long for now, and we leave you with the GMC Never Say Never moment of the game.